Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Builder of 7. Today I bring issue 69, we'll be installing the recoil starter. In the magazine today we've got safety on the track. We've got the classic Monaco track here, which had hay bales as their safety barriers. Drawback for spectators. And the recoil starter clutch. Okay, so this explains the one-way bearing that we'll be using in our recoil starter. And our parts for this week's issue. We have recoil starter, we've got four flanged screws, and our one-way bearing. So we've got a couple of pages of instructions here, guys. And let's get stuck into the building. Okay, so first things first, you want to identify each side of the bearing. Now, one side has writing, which you can see in the image here, and the other side does not. You want to put the side with the writing towards you okay so you want to put the non riding side down into your recoil starter the edge of the bearing should sit flush with the edge of the recoil starter and it should spin smoothly like so so now you want to line up the tooth of the recoil starter with the tooth of the rear plate so you want to line up the recoil starter with the rear plate so both tooths meet like so and you want to go and put the four Phillips head screws into each corner of the recoil starter, fixing it to the crankcase. And that's issue 69 of Build the Rebel RB7. We've installed our recoil starter to our GX21 engine. In the magazine next week, we have issue 70, where we have our carburetor, throttle spring, and our O-ring. Now, our carburetor is pre-assembled, so all we have to do is fit the O-ring and fit it to the front of our Rebel RB7 and the completed engine will look something like that. Okay guys, so I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Build the Rebel RB7 and I'll see you guys very shortly for issue 70 of Build the Rebel RB7. Thank you, bye bye.